All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, Ski Sun Doolis? It's your boy YFG and Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, in this video, I'm going to do a little quick recap of WrestleMania 29. I just had got done watching it, and for the most part, it was great. You know, it really wasn't a disappointment. Well, I take the back. The only disappointment was Puff Daddy coming out singing them damn songs and dancing. I did not want to see that shit. They could have left him off the event, but whatever. Um, it is going to be some spoiler alerts. You know what I'm debating? Should I tell you guys? Fuck it. I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Hate me or love me. It don't matter at the end of the day. I'm not going to talk about all the, um, you know, matches, but I'm going to get to mainly the key matches. And first off, they opening up the show with The Shield versus Big Show, Randy Orton, and Sheamus. That match was pretty good. The Shield, you, you guys don't know, they're new to the WWE. They've been coming in, whooping people's ass, jumping people, all that good shit, you know. Um, they end up beating John Cena. I mean, not John Cena, Randy Orton, Big Show, and Sheamus because Randy Orton didn't want to tag Big Show in when he should have tagged him in. And on that note, he ended up getting fucked up, Randy Orton. So Big Show was just looking like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why didn't you tag me in? You know, I'm fully recovered. I could have ended this match. I could have choke slammed the dude and boom, got it over with. So afterwards, Big Show, he ended up attacking Sheamus, and then he ended up attacking Randy Orton. So that was the opening matchup of the event. It was pretty good, you know. Moving on. Next, I'm going to talk about, um, let me see, where, where can I go next? Um, I'm not going to talk about Ray back, right back, and, and, and um, um, Mark Henry. I'm not going to talk about that match because it was, it was, it was, okay. it was okay, you know. I was actually shocked that dude was able to lift Mark Henry up. Now, I know it was, it was a little fake. Mark Henry probably had to, you know, lighten himself up a little bit as far as, like, helping him, helping Ray back to lift Mark Henry up. But, hey, the dude got some strength. I don't know if he was in steroids or not. Who knows? I don't know. I don't care. But Mark Henry ended up winning that match. But Ray back ended up doing his little submission, his little finisher move on him. And I was actually shocked because he lifted his ass up, walked around with him, and slammed him. Moving on. Undertaker and CM Punk. Now, we all know the history of CM Punk. Undertaker's been going back and forth. Uh, we all know Paul Heyman just passed the... Uh, shit. I can't even remember his name. But the dude who always used to come out with Undertaker. Okay, y'all know who I'm talking about, damn it. You know, I haven't watched wrestling in so long. But anyway, y'all know who I'm talking about. He passed away, whatever, whatnot, recently. And CM Punk been messing with The Undertaker, you know, as far as the, the ashes and stuff like that. You know, he got the little iron and everything and stuff like that, CM Punk. And he's been playing mind games with The Undertaker, you know, just building up for a great match that was presented, which it was a great, great match. Um, for those who don't know, like I figured already, Undertaker was going to win. So now he's 21 and 0. It's only right if Undertaker win. He's going to keep winning until he retire or unless they just want to, you know, finally give a twist and just let him lose. But, um, yes, he's 21 and 0. Now he beat CM Punk. It was a great back and forth match. Um, I actually thought CM Punk was going to win, but, you know, it's scripted. It is what it is. Undertaker still undefeated at WrestleMania. Now, moving on, um, which was... To me, I think was the best match was Triple H and fucking Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock Lesnar, that dude looked like he done been working out some more, got a little bit bigger, got more cut in shape because he just looked more prepared, you know, for this event. Now, like I said, I haven't watched wrestling all year or the year before. So, hey, I just know when he first came back, his body looked kind of little. He look in perfect, perfect shape. But the dude looked in he looked in per, he looked per, in perfect shape now. And um that match was pretty good. It was a lot of back and forth. Triple H looked pretty good. He did he was doing his damn thing, you know. Um did his little finisher and stuff. He almost made Brock Lesnar tap out. Should have tapped out like three times. But Brock Lesnar with his strength and ability, he didn't give up give up that easy. And um Brock Lesnar for the most part I thought was gonna win this match. But then the little twist came. And he ended up doing something Triple H. I can't, oh, Triple H hit him with the sledgehammer. That's what it was. Hit him with the sledgehammer. Boom. You know how they go. Ended the match. But it was a great match overall. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for y'all. I'm not going to go into details. But, yes, um, Triple H ended up winning that match. That was a good, good fight. You know, a lot of energy and all that stuff. Actually, Shawn Michaels was the, um, if I'm not mistaken, the referee or just a little special guest or whatever. He ended up... Um, 
doing the sweet chin music on the dude who came out, you know, came out with Brock Lesnar. I can't remember this, this dude's name right now, whatever, but he used to be the owner of ECW and all that shit. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, he ended up doing the sweet chin music on him. That shit was very powerful and loud as always. And I'm sorry, this review may not be as great. This was a recap, but hey, it is what it is. Now, Triple H ended up winning that match. Moving on, final match. Rock versus John Cena. The match that I was ready to see. I was ready to see the match everybody probably was waiting to see. Now, before this pay per view was uh, was coming on, I said and I told people they probably gonna have John Cena win because what in the hell do the Rock have to prove? He have nothing else to prove. He don't want championships. He done done it all. Blah blah blah. I think the Rock is done. You know me personally. You know he's gonna just do his movies. He may pop up, but. Anyway, before I get into that, anyway, um, this match was pretty good. It was it was long. It wasn't real, real long, but it was damn near close to, I want to say, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to say damn near close to 30 minutes. Um, and um, they was going back and forth at it, man. It was better than the last year match in my eyes, I think. You know, Rock ended up doing this uh, people's elbow sweep. He, he, the Rock bottom. John Cena did his move a couple times. It was a lot of back and forth. You know, nobody wanted to lose. It was it was it was a great uh, match overall. But um, yeah, and John Cena ended up winning the match. He did his little move. He ended up winning the match. I expected that. I said he was gonna let John Cena win this time, and then I said maybe it'll be a third match at the next WrestleMania. You know, get a final final match. You know. But I started thinking about it like, nah, man, The Rock got too much going on. He's not worried about wrestling no more, for real. He may pop back up, but he's not going to be heavy on wrestling like how he was, you know, this previous year and, and as far as last year and stuff like that. I mean, think about it. this dude in movies after movies after movies just coming out the ass. He first started off with Snitch, then uh, what, G.I. Joe. Then he got um, this one movie called Pain and Something with Mark Wahlberg. Then after that, he got the Fast and Furious 6. This dude is making movies out the ass. But overall, it was a great match. They both showed each other love, both respect, you know, they showed both good respect to each other. You know, they hugged each other, lift their hands up and stuff like that. They talked for a minute. And, um, you know, I thought The Rock was going to try to pull some shit, but he didn't pull no shit. It was all love and stuff like that. So, overall, man, WrestleMania 29, it was a good, good event. It was pretty damn good. I haven't saw WrestleMania in a long, long time. I actually watched this WrestleMania. And also, I was watching some w, some college um, basketball on the ladies' final um, final four. And um, shout out to my Connecticut Huskies. Yes, they will be in the national championship game. And shout out to my baby Skylar Diggins, man. I wish she could have got, you know, great career at Notre Dame. I wish she could have made it and got one since Baylor wasn't in it no more. But anyway, um, yeah, man, that was my little quick little recap as far as WrestleMania 29. So once again, John Cena won, got the belt. Undertaker's 21 and 0 now. Um, um, fuck it, man. Comment, subscribe, favorite, check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Um. And y'all know what to do, man. Deuces. And remember, guys and girls, make sure you click the subscribe button, watch the previous videos, and like the videos.